Welcome back aliens, my name is Avin Reddy and today we are coming up with this course called Java Full Stack with Spring Boot and Spring AI. Now this is an upcoming live course which is going to start from 8th of Jan, that's right, uh, coming week, depending upon when you're watching this. And this will be a weekday course, starting from Monday to Thursday and timing is 9pm to 11pm IST. As this is a live course, of course if you have any questions, you can get your answers after the live class. Now, let's talk about this course. Now, in this course, we are going to learn multiple things. We are going to start from the basics because we are assuming that you are beginners. And even if you know the Java, Java language, it's okay to revise it and focus on the advanced concepts. And we'll go through the course content. But if you observe this course, we have two trainers. I'm there and one of the amazing trainers is there who is Heather Abbas. And Heather is going to introduce himself and also he will talk about the course content. Now this video, maybe you will find it lengthy because we have huge amount of content to talk about. And let me get Heather on board. Hello everyone, my name is Heather Abbas. With this video, let's try to understand more about this course in detail. To start with, this course has no prerequisites irrespective of your background whether you are a university student maybe a pass out from university looking for a job or maybe someone who are working in different domain and want to make a switch in java or development this is the right course we are going to start from absolute scratch then moving towards the advanced concepts and try to understand all the important modules of the Spring framework, which is Spring Boot alongside the generative AI with Spring AI module. Then at the end, we shall conclude this batch with microservices. How we are going to start and what all the modules which we are going to cover, we need to understand in this video. This course will go for six to seven months of time and all the major concepts will be taught live. Major concepts, I'm referring to Java, entire Spring Boot framework followed by microservices. To start with, out of six to seven months, initial two months, we will be spending in learning Java from absolute scratch to the advanced level, all the major concepts of Java, which is required for your interview as well as to understand the development better. All the major concepts have been mentioned here. We are going to start from scratch initially the fundamentals of programming and Java, then all the OOPS concepts, arrays, strings, interfaces, and Lambda expression, which is very important, exception handling, multi-threading, collection, maps, stream API, file handling, generics, enums, annotations, and all the Java new features, which are important for your development journey, as well as for your interview and we'll be spending around two to two and a half months of time in learning this in a live course. Entire content will be taught in a live interactive way. Every day you'll be attending and all the classes will be recorded and you'll have the access of all the recordings for lifetime. Once we complete the Java in 2.5 months of time, you will be given one week of time, which is a break, wherein if you want, you can watch the recorded videos. You will be given some of the part of the course in the recorded format, which is about the SQL, JDBC, Servlets, Hibernate, which are very, very crucial. Now, currently in the industry, directly we are not using the JDBC Servlets. However, to understand some of the modules of Spring Framework better, you need to have idea on how JDBC technology works, servlet works, hibernate works, for which we will give you these recordings. Alongside that, you will be given the recordings on DSA and JUnit, also on the Docker cloud deployment, which you can watch going forward. We will guide you on when you have to start watching this recorded content. However, entire Java, Spring Boot, microservices will be taught in a live course. Only five modules, major modules will be given in the recorded format. And we will guide you when you can start watching those videos. Now, after completing Java, we will have one week of gap. After the gap, we shall start with the Spring Framework. And we are going to start the Spring Framework from absolute scratch by keeping in mind that you have understood Java. Initially, we shall understand the Spring Framework, the core of the Spring Framework, the Spring Core module, which is very important. 
with the XML approach. We shall see with the annotation approach, Java configuration approach and the Spring Boot approach. Spring Boot is one of the way to work with the Spring Framework. There is no difference. Spring Boot and Spring Framework, these two things are not different frameworks. Spring Boot is a easier way to work with the spring framework fine and there were so many questions that whether if you you know you will teach the spring framework or the spring boot i'll say we are going to deal with the spring boot initially we will understand spring framework the core of the spring framework with all the possible ways xml annotation java configuration and we shall understand the same concept with the spring boot so that you can understand practically how Spring Boot is different from the Spring Framework. We know we don't want to say any English words. By default, you will understand. And you yourself will tell us to go ahead with the other modules with Spring Boot. And once we understand the entire Spring Boot fundamentals, once we understand the Spring Core, we shall start with the Spring Data. Fine. Coming to the Spring Data, we will understand Spring with JDBC, Spring Data JDBC, and then we shall start with the Spring Data JPA, which is very, very important. We will be understanding all the three important, uh, you know, interfaces in the Spring Data JPA, CRUD repository, paging and sorting repository. We shall understand about the, you know, JPA repository. We shall understand about the projections, dynamic projections, static projection. We'll be understanding about the custom finder methods, custom query method. Basically, you will be very much confident on Spring Data JPA at the end, you know, end of this entire module. Fine. And once you are confident on the Spring Core, you know the Spring Boot now, you know the Spring Data JPA, we shall start with the Spring Web MVC module. We will understand all the fundamentals of a Web MVC, which are very crucial before we start with RESTful services. At the end of the day, if you call yourself as a Spring Boot developer, you must know about the how to work with REST APIs, RESTful services, fine. And we shall understand in depth about the RESTful services under the umbrella of this REST. We shall understand how to perform unit testing. We shall understand about the Mockito. We shall understand about the HTOs. We shall understand about the actuators, REST template, web client which is synchronous and asynchronous communication how to integrate the real api in our spring boot application so basically you will be very much confident on the rest apis how to work with the restful services fine and once you are confident of course the other associated models also will understand here which is spring boot profiles about the batch processing as well and later we shall see how to secure our apis Again, we shall start with the Spring Security module. Fine, wherein we will understand about the basic authentication and authorization. We will understand about the token-based authentication and authorization also. We shall understand JWT OAuth also in the Spring Security module. Of course, in between, we shall see AOP, how to handle the exceptions globally. So in under the umbrella of RESTful services, we will be understanding so many other major topics which are involved. Once we complete this, you will be very much confident on the entire Spring Framework, all the major modules of Spring Framework. You know how to work with REST APIs. And by this time, we shall be completing our five months of time. And then we shall start with right now, everywhere there is an AI. And to work with AI as a Spring Boot developer, we have an amazing new module which is introduced, which happens to be the Spring AI module. We shall spend good amount of time in learning this amazing module and this will be the added advantage on your resume. You also know how to work with the new generative AI and as a Spring Boot developer, you are well aware of the Spring AI module. And once you understand everything about the backend development, we will uh, suggest you to start watching the videos on Docker. Docker videos will be given to you in the form of recorded. You can watch that. And meanwhile, we will be starting with microservices. Again, that also will be starting from absolute scratch. That what is the need of this? What are the problems with Monolith? Why we may have to go with the microservices? 
and all the major components on the microservices, whether it is the service registry, Eureka server, Spring Cloud config server, Zipkin server, admin server, Redis cache, Apache Kafka, right? And we will understand about the API gateway, routing, filtering, how to make our application resilient, how to go with the circuit breaker pattern. Also, we shall be understanding in the microservices. And during this entire course, once we start the development phase, once after you learn the Java, we'll be starting the Spring Boot, we will make the groups among yourself with different backgrounds, different regions. And we will assign you the group projects, which you may have to do in a group. That group might consist a fresher, a university student, maybe someone with experience of 5 to 10 years, 15 years also in the same batch. And in the group, while learning in the live class, you will be doing some of the projects. Fine. At the end of this course, you will be very much confident on Java, Spring Boot, all the major modules of the Spring Framework and microservices. You will be a versatile, strong Java backend developer with good hold on Java as well as the Spring Framework. And you will not fear to attend the interview. You will be confident enough to crack any interviews. And if there is need arises, you will be versatile enough to learn any concept from anywhere. Fine. Majorly all the topics which are required for the development for the interview will be covered in this course itself. So it might take around uh, five, you know, six to seven months of time to cover all these things in a live course. You can see some of the frequently asked questions. You can just a visit to the course page, you will get more clarity on this course. We are going to start this from 8th January, that is our orientation day, the introduction day. And then we shall continue. This batch will be a weekday batch, Indian time 9 pm to 11 pm, Monday to Thursday. And if you miss out any of the classes, then no problem, all the classes will get recorded. And you will get to interact with the mentor after every class two hours of strong technical discussion, then you have a time to discuss with mentor, whatever doubts you have on that day itself, you can clarify. Suppose you could not attend the live class and you have watched the recorded. Can we ask you no know, previous class doubt in the next classes? Yes, you can ask, there is no problem. Maybe we are discussing the spring boot and you're still in the Java. Can we ask questions on Java during the spring classes? Yes, you can ask, but in the doubt session. Every day after the class, there will be, once we complete the actual topic of the day, there will be a dedicated time wherein you can interact with the mentor and you can ask any doubt you have again and get it clarified. Fine. So this is about the course. So if you want, you can just go through the content here and the content will be more than what has been mentioned here. Major topics, Java, Spring Framework, Spring Boot, which is all the modules of uh, Spring Framework alongside the Spring AI, microservices will be taught live. In the form of recorded, you will be given DSA, JUnit, SQL, JDBC, Servlets, Hibernate, Cloud Deployment, Docker videos, which you can watch in your own pace. And we will be guiding you when you can start watching that. And I'm pretty sure that at the end of six to seven months, you will be confident enough to crack the interviews. You can attend with no knowledge. We will start from absolute scratch. And at the end of six months, you will be confident enough to face the interviews and also to use these skills in the development. I hope you could able to clarify and you have a roadmap about this course. If you have any other queries, you can reach out to the number which you can see on the screen. Currently, the price is this and if you want any of the coupons, you can just look for that in the description as well as you can reach out to this number. This price right now at the time of recording is this and it might increase day by day. Fine. That's all about this course. See you all inside the course on 8th of Jan. Thank you, everyone of you.